Hey everyone, I'm Deirdre and I've got another fantastic story for you today. Every book of scripture opens up with a righteous mother. The Old Testament and Pearl Great Price have Eve. The New Testament starts with Mary. The Book of Mormon starts with Sariah. And the Doctrine and Covenants opens up with a woman known to the church not as sister, but as Mother Smith. Lucy Mack Smith was most likely the restored church's first convert. The prophet recorded in the book of the law of the Lord, my mother is one of the most noble and best of all women. Even her husband, Joseph Smith Sr., on his deathbed said to her, mother, do you know that you are one of the most singular women in the world? You have brought up my children for me by the fireside, and when I was gone from home, you comforted them. We have often wished that we might both die at the same time, but you must not desire to die when I do, for you must stay and comfort the children. Later, two church leaders named Solomon Humphrey and Hiram Page were asked to help guide a group of saints through waterways from New York to Ohio. Both of them refused to do so since it was a dangerous journey given the cold time of year. It was suggested that Lucy lead the exodus. As they journeyed, the harbor became ice blocked by a wall of ice 20 feet thick. Take a moment and think about how high 20 feet is. It was going to be weeks before they could sail through. The stranded saints on the deck of the ship argued and complained loudly. According to the November 1972 Ensign, it says, With fire in her icy blue eyes, Lucy walked right into the noise and confusion. Her voice rang out with authority and she rebuked the murmuring saints. She gave a speech so powerful and inspiring that she held everyone captive. She ended saying, Brethren and sisters, if you will, all of you, raise your desires to heaven that the ice may give way before us and we be set at liberty to go on our way. As sure as the Lord lives, it shall be done. As soon as she said these words, there was a deafening roar like thunder. The captain of the ship called everyone to their post and the wall of ice split, parting a path wide enough for the boats. As soon as they passed through to safety, the ice closed back up. Step aside, Moses, who can only part water. We've got the prophet's mother splitting ice. If you would like to learn more about this woman of God, I've included some links below. 